Hey, in this video, I want to show you how to make blog headers and social media images pretty much for free using tools like Stencil and a lot of free sources where you can get some really attractive looking illustrations. So stay tuned for this one. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Today, I'm going to do something slightly different. I get requested all the time to to do a video on how I tie pieces of my tech stack together so I'm going to show you something really simple and quick um, very easy for you to do and I'm going to use um, get stencil so we're going to talk about get stencil.com we've talked about that in the past it's my favorite um, thing to do quick social media uh, images and things like that we're going to use story chief I've talked about that that's my favorite content distribution tool so really really love story chief and in this case I need a blog header I'm writing a blog here and I don't have a graphic here at the front uh, and I need really two forms of that blog header I like to have a you know one for the blog itself and then one for the social media um, meta image so that when people share that blog it's gonna look right on Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and all those places so how do you get these well you could make one you could hire a contractor lots of ways you could do it I'm gonna show you a free way that's really easy if you have these tools there are, there are a lot of sites out there these days that give you free illustrations and um, of course they start out free and then you could pay and get more access I like this one in particular pixeltrue.com you can see get free illustrations they've got a free illustration pack right here and then pretty affordable to get some others we're going to use this one I'll show you in a second but I want to point out another one minipixels.co I've highlighted this in our newsletter go out to newsletter.techsmartboss.com you can subscribe to get that weekly uh, but they've got tons of categories out here and you can look for tech and web design or whatever you might have and even you know within here start to change the color you'll see the color adjust as I change and then I can download that. And then another one, shape.so. They've got free. You know, all of them start limited. And then they've got uh, plans that you could purchase. I'm going to go ahead and let's see what free ones they have here. And you can see that they look pretty nice. I don't have a problem with them at all. I'm going to pick one. And let's, uh, I'm going to take this one right here. And I'm going to download it. So you'll see that'll, that'll allow me to download that. I'll go ahead and save that. I'll open that up all right so I've got that particular file downloaded and what I'm going to do is just upload that into get stencil so ignore all my my junk that I have in my uh, folder here on that there we go and I'm going to bring in the PNG image uh, from what I downloaded and unzipped it's going to upload straight into get stencil I've got tons of images that get stencil so you'll see there it is I'm just gonna click on that and add that and kinda size it up to be a little bit bigger however size I want you notice as I rearrange it it'll kinda tell me when it's centered now I'm gonna do just a very I, I keep my blog headers pretty simple just an illustration and a color but you could put text you could do all sorts of things but watch this I'm gonna click on the background and I'm gonna pick more of a a gold type of background for this one and I'm gonna find a color I like them a little bit brighter there just like that and then I'm gonna download that and I've got my blog header I'll go ahead and just save it and you can see I got all sorts of settings I could save and now I want to get my one for my ad go switch over to ads and this is the closest they have I could set up something perfect but this matches uh, the recommended size in uh, rank math which is on our blog does the meta images and what I might want to do is go ahead and make it just a little bit bigger to display on social media and, and again you could put text you could put other images on this I could I've got my watermarks here if I want to kind of add in let me find my text smart boss one you know I can add that on the image and kind of make it even look a little bit more personal to me and I'll download that now once I have those downloaded it's a pretty simple process at that point to come into story chief and add an image and let me go ahead and pick that image that we downloaded and there it is so now as I send this out I would go through and set up 
some description text here and things like that and also make sure that this image is also going to show on my summaries here but once I publish that that image will be distributed as content as story chief sends out my content so there's no reason not to have attractive images and, and illustrations in your content uh, between the free options that are available and tools like stencil and story chief uh, it's a very simple process and it doesn't require a lot of uh, technical skill to do and that's why it's perfect for a tech smart boss hey if you like these kind of videos then definitely subscribe to our youtube channel check out our facebook page and head out to our website techsmartboss.com and you'll find all the things that we're doing like the newsletter that i mentioned stay tuned for the next video